cutting using hand saw and mechanical saw. One of the great things about Aircree is that you can cut the blocks to size on site. It's important to get the measurements correct as you only have a 2mm joint to play with. Here I am using my hand saw. As you can see it's quite easy to cut standard grade air creep blocks with this saw and you will get a clean and accurate cut. Tungsten tip saws are a good investment and should last two or three years on site. You can see that the air creep product can be readily scored to mark where a cut is needed. As mentioned before it's really important to get the measurement right. So set yourself up properly to get good support for the block with enough room for the saw. It doesn't take too long to cut through the block and cutting squares can be used to help with accuracy if desired. The alternative is to use a mechanical saw, either a band saw or circular saw. This gives a very quick and precise cut and you can also cut multiple blocks at a time. On this particular machine I can cut three blocks at a time so it's a very efficient way of cutting on site. I like the mechanical saws because of the accuracy of the cut. They are pretty standard pieces of kit that can be easily hired from most plant hire operators and larger building sites are likely to have two or three on site for this use. The most important part of cutting the blocks like this is to make sure that the cut is clean and accurate. You'll be using joints of just 2mm so there is no margin for error. Here you can see that two or three blocks can be cut together. If you want to be really efficient then you can use the labourers on site to do the cutting while the bricklayers just get on with their job.